look for signs that, okay, this is actually a good time to take a couple weeks off, you know, or maybe yeah. even if, if you're looking at the weather and being like, these rides aren't going to be that great. Yeah. I, I find that usually by the end of the season, my heart rate is a little bit higher, you know, like when I'm doing like a regular, and I track oh, all really? my, yeah, I track all yeah. my workouts, you know, so I, I, I'm, I like the numbers. And so I'll just study then. And we're talking like minuscule amounts. It'll start to go up. And it's like, why am, why am I working so hard? Why is my body working so hard to produce the same amount of output? And that's a, that's a pretty good telltale sign that, okay, your body's working a little bit harder than it should to reach the performance levels that you had previously. That's, that's a pretty good sign. And the other thing is a more obvious one. And that is, I've gotten dead legs. I've, I've gotten dead legs several times in my riding career. Yeah. That's and what I thought you were going to touch on that before, because we, we went into dead legs. I mean, you got it first. Yeah. But then I got it. I got it also. Uh, and that, and that was what I think I felt like that was where we were like, okay, we really need to take some time off. Like so, we can't, like, you can't go full speed year round. So yeah, yeah. Explain what, what was happening on those, on that, on that dead leg kind of feeling. It's crazy, Danny. And, and again, you can look at your heart rate. It'll tell you. I mean, you're literally pushing as hard as you can, but nothing's happening. You can't produce any kind of meaningful power. And it, it's, I'm not saying that you can't ride because you, you still can ride. It's just you can't get into that top end power. So when, you're, when you get to a climb and you're just like, I just don't have it. And then you're just like that feeling of I just don't have it starts to affect every ride. You know, because dead legs yeah. isn't like, a, oh, it just, we all have off days. This isn't an off day. This is like, I have consecutive rides where you get this feeling of dead legs. That's when you know, okay, you know what? I've overexerted here. I need to take a break. You know, not just, you were talking about the mental. This is more about the physical as well. And just letting your body have that two to three weeks of just let it heal, let it recover, get all those stress hormones out, you know, everything. And just, just relax, relax, relax. You know, it's so important. Yeah. yeah once Tol the thing I is, totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get into the dead legs, it's almost too late. Like I, I would mm. say if you, if you can kind of catch it before you get to the dead legs, you could get away with taking two weeks. If you get to dead legs, you might mm. need more than two weeks, you know, then that's, that's, mm. that sucks. Yeah. Right. So don't push If you're, if you're new to mountain biking, you know, don't, don't push yourself too far. You have to look, really listen to your body. And so if you go out on a ride and you don't have it, that happens once in a while. If you go out yeah. on the next ride, you don't have it. You know, think about it. And then the third ride, like, okay, you know, your, your body's really telling you something. And especially if you're not getting the same quality of sleep or, or you're yes. trying to get cranky, you know, or anything yeah. like that during the day, there's other signals. If you're just like really dragging, uh, there's other <laughs> signals that you're starting to dip into, overtraining and look we're not pros so we're not going to train like they do but we also don't recover like they do you know we don't have personal chefs and we don't get 10 hours of sleep and oh by the way we, like most of us have other jobs yeah. and other stressors and there's other things going on and it's a lot it's a lot to balance and so if this is our hobby this should be fun so if you find that you're getting out there and you're not having fun and you're not feeling good then Give yourself a, a little bit of break, you know, fire up a little bit more YouTube, a little bit more ride and laugh. I mean, you can go back and listen yes. to our past episodes multiple times. <laughs> I would say I know a lot of people listen to podcasts on two times speed or one and a half times speed. I would say slow us down to 0. 0.5, 0. 0.8, you know, really stretch it out. <laughs> <laughs> slow us down. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> if you love mountain bike. Now everyone's like at two times speed. I got to speed up this segment just to hear Dan speak in a normal voice. <laughs> um, all right. What do you do during that two week break? Are you concerned about gaining weight if you're that inactive during your two week break? Yo, that's where that's where the multi-day fasting really comes in handy.